hello guys today in this video I'm going to show you how we can create web API using dotnet 7 so as you know that dotnet 7 is launched so to do that here I have opened Visual Studio 2022 from Mac and you can also do same in like Visual Studio for Windows so currently I'm using Mac for it so here I will click on new and from here I had already created a API so it is coming in the recent one but if you will go ahead then you need to click on here app and from here you can select API you can select the language so here I'm going to select C shop and here I will click on continue and here you can see uh, my Visual Studio is the updated one so that's why it has updated and installed the uh, like dotnet 7 so that's why I can select here dotnet 6 or dotnet 7 easily okay and here everything I will keep as it is and here I will click on continue and here I will put a name so I will put here dotnet 7 or uh, you can put any name so, and here I will also check this but it is not mandatory so if you want then you cannot okay so for now I'm just leaving it and I will click on create and you can see here application is created by the I mean automatically by Visual Studio and you can see uh, it has having a like program.cs file everything is similar as dotnet 6 okay Mm, it's not opening here yeah, now I can open it so you can see it is almost similar uh, with dotnet 6 now change not a lot of change here okay and also we have a uh, already created model here and we have um, few dependencies and we have a controller with the name of weather forecast which is a default one so let me run it and let's see how it is working and mm -mm, so it build is successful and so it will uh, it should launch by default the browser and you can see here uh, by default it is also having the swagger installed so swagger is coming here and by default it has opened the web weather forecast api in the swagger and here I can see the results here okay and um, so I think uh, there is not a lot of change here okay so I will look uh, like more detail into the latest update of dotnet 7 and then I will have I mean I will create a next video for that okay so till that time thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.